I've had quite a few requests of people asking me to cover some free airdrops or testnet airdrops that you can farm today without having to actually invest any money. So in today's video, I'm going to walk you through a complete step-by-step -step tutorial on exactly what you need to do to qualify for an Alio airdrop simply by interacting with their testnet, which is going to cost you zero dollars, but you're going to have to spend a little bit of time on it. So for starters, what is Alio? They are a zero knowledge blockchain and they're all about privacy. And they've actually raised quite a lot of money, $200 million last year in a series B for their private by default blockchain platform. And some of their investors are actually quite well known, including SoftBank, Tiger Global, Andreessen Horowitz, and many others. So this is a legit project backed by very serious investors with a decent amount of funding. And what we know from previous examples of such cases, you can get a nice airdrop simply by interacting with their test net and just clicking a few buttons. So let's walk through how to do it. For starters, you're going to need to download the Leo wallet and add it as a browser extension. And I'll throw links to this as well as all of the other important things that you need to do down below in the description of this video so you can just follow along. So just go ahead and click add to Brave or Chrome or whatever browser you're using and then we'll move to the next step. So once you get to this stage, you're going to have to create a new wallet, I'm assuming because you haven't done this before. So go ahead and click create new wallet. Now the next part is where you have to copy and save your or private key or your seed phrase. This is what's going to allow you to recover the wallet if you ever lost the device that you actually set it up on. So make sure you write this down somewhere safe and secure, not online, and then move to the next step. Once you've saved your seed phrase and confirmed that you know it, then you can go ahead and set up a password for your wallet as well. Then simply accept the terms and hit next. And this is now what the Alio wallet looks like. It's actually called the Leo wallet. And if I click here, I can pin it to my browser for easy access and it opens up as an extension just like any other crypto wallet would. So now we're ready to actually go and start interacting with the Alio testnet and establishing our on-chain history that's going to allow us to qualify for this airdrop. The next step is to go to their faucet green list and whitelist or green list our wallet address. So this is what's going to allow us to get some testnet tokens from their faucet. So you simply have to go to your Alio wallet here, copy your wallet address by clicking on the button there, paste it into the green list and then hit paint it green. So now this address is successfully green listed and I'll be able to get testnet tokens from the faucet. So obviously the next step is to actually get those testnet tokens. Now this is what the actual faucet looks like. You can text this number with send 50 credits to your wallet address. Alternatively, you can join their Discord and they have a faucet in here as well where you send a message that says send credits to your Alio wallet address. Now, once you submit a request to the Discord faucet, or if you text the number with a request to this faucet, it's gonna take a little while, so just wait and then come back once you actually receive the tokens. Now, one other thing that you're going to need to be able to complete all of these steps is to have some Sapolia testnet ETH in your MetaMask wallet or whatever other Ethereum wallet you're using. Now, if you don't already have some Sapolia ETH, you can go to the Sapolia faucet and you can mine some by simply selecting your crypto wallet address. This is an Ethereum wallet, not Alio. So you paste in your Ethereum wallet address here, click I'm not a robot, and then hit start mining. And this faucet will mine some testnet ETH for you. And then as soon as you have a reasonable amount, you don't need that much then you can just hit stop mining and it will send those testnet rewards to your crypto wallet. So it looks like my request for testnet tokens has come through. I now have 15, so I can just hit stop mining on the Sapolia faucet, claim those rewards, and we'll move to the next step. This right here is a bridge where we're actually gonna send that Sapolia testnet ETH that we mined to the Alio network. So in order to do this, you have to be able to connect both your Ethereum wallet and your Leo wallet. So go ahead and do that. Once you've connected both of those wallets, you can select the amount that you want to send. So let's go ahead and send 0.1 ETH to the Alio network. Confirm the transaction and then just wait a couple minutes. You can track the transaction in the history of the Izar testnet bridge page here, and you'll be able to see once it goes through. Now, while we are waiting for this, we can actually move on to the next step, which is to go to Alio Swap or Alpha Swap, and we're going to interact with this and do a bunch of stuff. So first, connect your wallet. This is the Leo wallet that we're gonna connect here. Once you have connected your wallet, go ahead and hit on the faucet button here, and then 
bind your EVM address. This is your Ethereum wallet address for reward distribution. So click on that and then copy your Ethereum wallet address and paste it in here. Then hit confirm and you're signing a transaction now in your Leo wallet. So that was a success. And if you have any tokens available to claim here, there will be a button that says claim and you can click on it and go ahead and do so. Now, if there's nothing available to claim here, you can also go to Arcane Finance and connect your wallet to this one and try to claim here. Here you can select which token you want to mint from the faucet. So let's say USDC and select an amount, then hit claim and sign the transaction in your wallet. Now, sometimes these transactions fail. When you confirm it, it pops up actually in a new tab and it goes through the process of trying to confirm the transaction. It can be slow and it does fail frequently because it's in a testnet phase. So you have to be patient with it. So that was a successful transaction. The tokens were minted and now I have a balance of 1000 USDC and you can repeat that process with these other testnet tokens as well. And you'll see that as you complete these transactions, your testnet tokens of the Alio token actually go down. You're paying for gas fees or transaction fees with that testnet token. So now I have some wrapped Bitcoin and some USDC in my wallet. And on Arcane Finance, I can hit on the swaps feature and I can swap between different assets. So you can select which you're swapping from and to, and then just type in a random number hit swap and then confirm the transaction in your wallet. And you can just do this a few times. You don't have to just spam this for hours. I think a couple transactions will be good. And you can also click on their trading feature and make swaps this way. Now back over to AlphaSwap. If for some reason the faucet doesn't have any claimable tokens, you won't be currently able to make swaps. I was able to do this on my other Leo wallet, however, so I recommend just returning to this periodically and checking to see if you're able to claim the tokens and then interact with the AlphaSwap test net features here. Aside from these swaps platforms, you can also actually register an alio name service name or a dot alio domain. So you can search for a name, see if it's available. And it looks like cryptocove.ans is available. So I'm going to connect my Leo wallet here and try to register this domain name. So it's going to cost two alio tokens. Luckily, I haven't spent that much of the testnet tokens I received. So I'm going to go ahead and hit create record. Then I have to confirm a transaction and it pops up in a new tab until it finishes executing. So we just have to wait for that to go through. Okay, there we go. The transfer of the credits was a success. So I'm now down to Aleo here, but it says, please wait for a few minutes for the wallet to synchronize, then refresh and I'll be able to actually register. And that is one thing about this test that is it's a little bit tedious. It takes some time to do all of these steps. Sometimes it glitches and you have to retry the transaction over a couple of times. So if you're patient with it, it's definitely a good target for a free airdrop though. So once you wait a couple minutes and refresh the page, now the register button is turned blue and you can go ahead and click on that and it will pop up asking you to confirm another transaction. So just go ahead and do that. Now, another thing that we can do is actually go to alio.store and create an NFT collection. So again, connect your wallet and then you have to name your collection, create a ticker symbol, then you need to select the fees and you need to have an alio address for the royalties but you can just hit the button here that says use mine and you can upload a picture if you want but it's actually not mandatory so then you hit create collection it will pop up in your wallet asking you to confirm and go ahead and hit confirm and if your transaction is a success, it will pop up here saying status complete. Now the network is being super glitchy right now, but in theory, your NFT collection should show up down here and you can interact with this platform more as well, explore it a little bit and try to push a few transactions in your Leo wallet. So those are some of the most basic things that you can do to qualify for this Alio airdrop. Since it is in the testnet phase and it's super glitchy, it can be a little bit annoying, like I've been saying, but just be patient and keep trying to confirm those transactions. If you allocate a couple of minutes to this every once in a while, then I'm sure you'll qualify for a nice little testnet airdrop completely for free. So hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. At least there's no capital requirements for this, so there's no actual risk to you other than potentially wasting a few minutes if some of these transactions are glitchy and they don't go through easily. But good luck qualifying for this airdrop, and I'll see you in the next video.